You may be seated. Okay, the hard part's over. All right, here we go. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cain of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. It is into this holy estate that these two come now to be joined. I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you're about to make, do hereby before this company make your pledge of faith each to the other. Rest assured that if these solemn vows are kept inviolate, as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, grant you fulfillment in it, and establish your home in peace. Wade, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to her, so long as you both shall live? I will. Katie, will you take this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to him? so long as you both shall live? Well. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Wonderful. Your right hands. There you go. Give her your flowers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> We're good. We're good. All right, come on up. Katie and Wade, you have come to the holiest place in this sanctuary for the holiest part of the wedding ceremony, the saying of your vows to each other. Now to place in context the words that you're about to say, hear these words of inspiration from the Holy Scriptures. Thanks be to God. As you stand here at the altar of the church, I want you to take just a moment to realize who else is here with you. You are surrounded by your family and friends. There are people who have known you since the day you were born, and they wouldn't miss being here for anything. Everybody in this room has gathered here to offer their blessing upon you as you begin a life together as husband and wife. You can feel it in this room. There's a lot of love here. It's tangible, and it's all here to offer their blessing upon you. I want you to know that God is also in this room. Wherever God is, God blesses, and God is blessing this, your wedding day. I encourage you to invite God to the marriage, for wherever God is, God blesses, 
and God will bless your marriage as well. Uh, just a few moments ago, Katie, what your dad did is uh, presented you, and actually he was acting on behalf of both families and both of you, acting out a passage of Scripture that Jesus quoted from Genesis. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and the two shall be one. Your family understands that in order for you to go forward as husband and wife, they've got to take a step back and your family willingly does so on this day so that you can go forward as husband and wife. Now your relationship with your family will still be important, but it becomes secondary to this relationship. And what we say in the church is this is God's intent from the very beginning of time. The wonderful thing about marriage is that it multiplies the joys and it divides the sorrows. You now have someone with whom to share your life. Now, there are things that you don't know yet. Uh, in fact, there's a lot you don't know yet about marriage. Uh, there are many people here who understand what it means to say, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part. You don't quite understand that yet, but you've got people around you who do and are willing to support you and guide you and love you through every time in your life. The adventure of marriage is you're going to continue to grow in your knowledge and love of each other day after day, month after month, year after year, and we're here to celebrate that with you together. You came in as single adults, but you're going to walk out as a married couple, and you're going to walk out with God's blessing and with God walking with you every step of the way. And now, Wade, would you take Katie's hands in yours and repeat your vow after me? I, Thomas Wade, take you, Catherine Grace. I, Thomas Wade, take you, Catherine Grace. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my faith. And thereto I pledge you my faith. Katie, would you support Wade's hands in yours and repeat your vow after me? I, Catherine Grace, take you Thomas Wade. I, Catherine Grace, take you Thomas Wade. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too I pledge you my faith. And there too I pledge you my faith. Could I have the rings, please? The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of Katie and Wade through the Church of Jesus Christ our Lord. Those are the traditional words that mean simply this. The wedding ring is something that you can see and touch, and it symbolizes something you cannot see and you cannot touch, the love that these two have for each other and the covenant they are entering together. Let us pray. Bless, O oh Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in your peace and continue in your favor. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Place this on her left ring finger. Good. And repeat your vow after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring, with this ring I, thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Katie, okay, place this on the wait, left left ring finger. There you go. In token and pledge, in token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For as much as Wade and Katie have consented to gather in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, 
and have declared their faith each to the other and have witnessed that by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all humankind, the giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life. Send your blessing upon Wade and Katie, whom we bless in your name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant that they have made, and that they may ever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to your laws. O Lord, we pray that you would look graciously upon them, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, the one who taught us to say these words when we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this blessing upon your marriage. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor shine upon you and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come, you may have life everlasting. Amen. I kiss the bride. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations, Katie. Turn and get your flowers and I will present you. And now it is my privilege and pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Wade Phillips. <laughs>